Andrew, we've got some breaking news just hitting the wires. Occidental is buying oil and gas producer Crown Rock in a cash and stock transaction valued at about $12 billion, which does include debt. That deal will boost Occidental's production by 170,000 barrels of oil equivalent per day and expand its footprint in the Permian Basin. This acquisition, the company says, is expected to close in the first quarter of 2024. Maybe not a, a huge surprise because of all the activity that we've seen. There have been some reports right, written up recently about this potential deal that Occidental was in the hunt for this company. Um, the Permian Basin has been such a hot area, and you did see ExxonMobil make a huge move into this, too, with their recent uh, $63 billion purchase of Pioneer Resources. So that really kicked things off. Um, had kind of a hunt going for what would happen with these areas, too. You can see that stock right now, Occidental, down by about 1% to 55.90. I'm just looking at the terms of this. It looks like uh, they're, they're calling this a $12 billion deal, but that does include debt. Um, they're going to finance the purchase with the incurrence of $9.1 billion in new debt, the issuance of about $1.7 billion of common equity, and the assumption of Crown Rock's $1.2 billion of existing debt. So take that $1.2 billion factor out if you really want to see how much this is worth. You get closer to $10.8 billion uh, in how we would measure that deal. Um, Occidental yep. saying that it's going to be able to make some moves with this, too. Yeah, uh, saying it's basically um, add additive to free cash flow on a diluted share basis, about a billion dollars. That's based on $70 oil, so basically where oil's trading right now. And then, yeah, supporting... A 22% uh, dividend increase, 22 cents a share. So rebuilding that uh, that cash yield as well. Uh, the issuance of shares, maybe as part of the financing of the deal. Uh, not sure if that was necessarily known, but it's a it's a pretty modest amount. It's a 50 billion dollar market cap, Occidental. Right, and, and again, 9.1 billion of new debt, 1.7 billion dollars yeah. of common equity. Um, Occidental CEO Vicki Holub is going to be joining us in the next hour to talk about this deal and much more. And we have seen this race for deals with the big oil companies recently. Um, not just that ExxonMobil bid for Pioneer at $60 billion. You had Chevron's bid for Hess at $53 billion. Um, and we'll talk to her about a lot of things that we've seen out there um, and the transition of this company, too, which, by the way, has been a very strong performer in the S&P 500. Right. Uh, I know as recently as September, it was the top performer in the S&P 500. I don't know where things stand right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, Occidental or... Occidental. Yeah, Occidental. Yeah. I mean, it's down on a year-to-day uh, -day basis, down 10%. Okay. But that's all of energy is pretty it's much been... given back a lot of last year's gains. But you go back farther, and it's, uh, it's certainly up quite a bit. Okay.